today in Nityananda TV News. Morning satsang with Paramahamsa Nityananda. The world's largest celebrated festival, Ganesha Chaturdhi from Los Angeles and Hyderabad, Nityananda Ashrams and Paraka Puja at Changam Center. False case filed against Sri Nityananda Swami dismissed by US Civil Court and US Court of Appeal. And genius program for kids. Nityanandam and welcome to Nityananda TV News 2013. Now for today's top stories. Morning satsang with Paramahamsa Nityananda. I welcome all of you with my love and blessings. Today for a change I will speak on love. Love is not just an ordinary emotion, it's a mystical power. If you are able to show love little bit once in a while, it is a social emotion, but ever loving, radiating love is mystical power. Only if you can complete, 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 complete and establish yourself in the space of completion, the ability to love becomes reality in you. I am making a Cosmic Penal Code Statement, <laughs> CPC, <laughs> external world is neither fully nor partially or even little bit responsible for any of our incompletions. The ability Ability to forgive yourself is the first quality to start loving. Only when you are established in the space of completion, you will understand this statement, love is a power. When you are sick, somebody coming and giving you food, you call that as a love. When you are sick, staring at you and saying, get up, throw this sickness out of your body, walk out of this disease. That is the love, real love. Only if you are ready to receive the love from the right side, the love given to your completion space, only when you are ready to receive the love to your completion, you are ready to recognize an enlightened being or an incarnation live in the Sangha. O oh, Indian youth, again I give you a clarion call, wake up to educate yourself and others, enrich yourself and others with integrity, authenticity, responsibility. Responsibility for our poverty, responsibility for our ignorance, with this science of completion. This should be the work of Sangha all over the world. <coughs> Bala Vidyalaya should be established everywhere. It should be called as Nityananda Bala Vidyalayas. Continue, show the love to the right side of the human beings. I wanted the whole Sangha to start working very sincerely in this line of creating Bala Vidyalayas. Today is the world's largest celebrated festival. Ganesha Chaturdhi, we have some looks from Nityananda Ashrams in Los Angeles and Hyderabad and Paraka Puja at Changam Center.
False case filed against Sri Nityananda Swami dismissed by U.S. Civil Court and U.S. Court of Appeal. August 28, 2013, the U.S. Court of Appeal of the State of California, 4th District, Division 2, gave its final irrevocable decision beyond the scope of appeal, E058153, in the false case filed by Vinay K. Bardwaj, the false victim who laid false claims of unnatural sex abuse against Sri Nityananda Swami in a reiteration of its earlier ruling, as well as appeal on the ruling, the Honorable Court gave the final decision in Vinay K. Bardwaj's motion to reopen his already dismissed appeal on July 30, 2013. The Court concluded, Appellant has failed to show good cause for vacating the dismissal. The case history is November 26, 2012, the Superior Court of the State of California in the County of San Bernardino, headed by Honorable Judge Keith D. Davis, dismissed with prejudice the entire civil case, CIVRS 1013793, filed by Vinay K. Bardwaj against Sri Nithyananda Swami, Nithyananda Foundation, and others. July 30th, 2013, the U.S. Court of Appeal, 4th District, dismissed Bardwaj's appeal in its entirety of the above-mentioned civil case. August 28, 2013, the U.S. Court of Appeal, 4th District, denied Bardwaj's request to reopen his defunct appeal. Vinay K. Bardwaj is currently serving a 57-month prison term in Washington for three counts of child molestation and one count of improper communication with a minor. This is the same Vinay K. Bardwaj who in his attempt to escape from the serious and criminal charges of child molestation against him in the USA came forward as a false victim of abuse allegedly by Sri Nityananda Swami in India. Paramahamsa Nityananda in his energy field. Vedic lifestyle is the most ancient celebration in understanding the possibilities of life. It adds its unique flavor to our expression of who we are as individuals. This multidimensional creative domain of celebration is experienced through imbibing expanded awareness to create a platform of positive and productive life strategizing. Hearts and crafts. Artistic expression is very creative and innovative and takes us back to the evolution of the human heart and the expression of its love towards nature. Various impressionable facets of human nature like sharing, caring, and loving are all expressed as a different flow of energies through the hearts and crafts. Goshala. According to the Vedic tradition, cows are sacred animals that provide us with milk, cheese, butter, biofuel, medicines. Goshala is the shelter designed specifically for these animals. Taking care of the animals brings us unconditional joy of our inner selves. Flower Shop. Flowers bring in a new dimension of stimulation to our olfactory system. Latest research says that the fragrance of the flower even enhances our intuitive brain. Flowers have a great capacity to heal and balance the emotional component of our brain. Temple. Temples form the core of our rich Vedic culture. Rituals, events, and celebrations in the temples are ingenious, innovative, and colorful expressions of the mind. Temples as part of our lives assist us learn the creative celebratory lifestyle while helping us connect to higher realities. Temple activities can be rephrased 
as ecstasy in the rich lifestyle.